are you most proud of in regards to the Baldridge Award received by Pewaukee School District? That's a tough question, but I think we're most proud of the commitment that it's allowed us to demonstrate about our mission. We talk about opening the door to each child's future, and what I'm most proud of is that through the process, uh, it's been become very clear to me how dedicated our people are to that mission and that the process has given us a voice to people to talk about what they do in pursuit of that mission and I think what's the most gratifying is that pertains to teachers, board members, administrators, our food service workers, our custodians. Um, I think all are able to talk about the important role they play in attaining our mission and that to me is the most gratifying about it. Did the Baldridge model change um, Pewaukee school, school District? Oh wow, uh, the Baldridge model changed so much of how we approach our work. Uh, when you do mission-driven work, it's real easy to keep that work be of the heart. And I always say the Baldridge model helped us be smarter to use the work of our head, but also the work of our hands. So let me talk about what that means. You know, being mission driven, the idea of being dedicated to our mission is something really, really easy for us. We hire people that want to make a difference in the lives of children, and they do. But I think the Baldridge criteria helped us be smarter about that work so that we were able to create good processes and systems and metrics to measure our results. And that becomes a flywheel. It's really motivating when you start to do better and then you just keep trying to create better systems so that you get better and better and better. And then when the results go up, it just becomes more motivating. So I think that what the criteria gave us was a framework that I believe in and the biggest reason I believe in it is because we in schools struggle with having enough resources and by really getting smarter about our support processes and now I'm talking Baldridge like but when you get smarter about how you're leveraging the things that are ancillary how you're using energy how you're using paper and when we save money there then we get more money that we can spend in teaching and learning and making a difference in the classroom and boy we've we've put millions of dollars into the classroom by being smarter about that and and that's really gratifying because I think that that's accountable to our taxpayers, that we're using money well and we're putting it where it counts, which is in classrooms for kids. And so that to me is what the criteria has done to us. It's given us a framework to make smarter decisions and be more accountable about how we use resources. What was most challenging about implementing the Baldridge criteria? Do you know while I think the seven categories of the criteria are the right categories and they're the right they're the right things I always joked early on that the language of the 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 multiple questions I, I talked about it being a foreign language Baldrigian. Sometimes those questions are so hard to understand. What are they asking? What are those questions asking? And it really took a lot of time to develop capacity in our team to understand not the importance of the seven categories. I mean, we all get that leadership and planning and a customer focus and, and a knowledge man management system and workforce focus and operations focus and results. By the way, I just knew all seven off the top of my head. But that, that that's easy. Those are the right things. But when you get down to those minute questions, sometimes it's like, what is it asking? And so it really helped when we I made a commitment to getting a lot of our team examiner trained so that you delve in and you mess with the criteria and really understand it better so that we were able to not only help another organization that submitted an application but also understand it better ourselves firsthand because the criteria is challenging but the fact that it's not prescriptive is really good and I think that's the other challenge of it is is that idea that it's not a road map you know it doesn't tell you do this do this next do this next it's the right criteria but it applies to so many organizations but it doesn't give you the answers and sometimes I think it's my, my bet every organization does I don't want to make it seem like educators but we look for solutions and uh, it doesn't give you the answers it just gives you a good a good set of questions to be reflective about to get better 
What were some aha moments uh, that were experienced along the way? Mm -hmm. Lots of them. Um, well, first of all, getting feedback reports creates an aha moment because teams come and, you know, they read your application or they come to your site and it's like gold. You know, I, I talk about, I loved, I love Malcolm Gladwell as an, as an author and he wrote the book Blink, which talks about um, people making a judgment and how they make, you know, how they make perceptions. And I always called our site visits a blink test on steroids. I mean, what a gift you get. 10 people, sometimes seven to 10 people in your organization for two days to do a blink test, to, to get a sense of how things are working. You can't buy that level of insight that they give you in that feedback report about what you're doing well and what you can get better at. So the feedback report gave us lots of aha moments. Um, and the first aha moment that it gave us was uh, learning from out of sector. I still remember in one of the first ones, um, it talked about that we could learn about getting kids to school from FedEx. And I remember being highly insulted. What? Our children are not packages and boxes. You know, that this is a school, this isn't a business. And I was so, and then after we thought about it, and now I laugh because we benchmark with out of sector um, transportation and we benchmark with hospitals. And I think that that's the first aha is, boy, take your lenses off of just learning from other schools and learn from outside organizations and you can get better faster because you only know what you know in your sector. And so you can learn from people in other organizations and in other businesses and sectors. Um, I talk about when we had to do a handbook when um, I don't want to give too much detail, but when we had to do a handbook, when we were cycling out of contracts with unions into a handbook, we didn't have any handbooks in education. And so we looked to business and they were wonderful models, better than what we were developing in education, because again, we only know what we know. So I think the biggest aha there was that uh, you could learn from outside the organization. I'd say the second biggest aha was um, how cool it is and this was the biggest thing that I felt that actually working with the criteria which can seem I don't want to use the word constraining that sounds so negative but working with the criteria could actually free you to be more innovative was mind-blowing to me and so cool when I think that wow it's not only about getting better results but it's actually making us different and better in ways i never thought it could that was an aha and a mind um, blowing um, experience you know that we could actually do things differently not just to the criteria by using the criteria very cool would you mind maybe sharing some results that came out of using the Boulder criteria? You know, maybe like student, like student achievement or sure. regards to efficiency. Sure. Um, I can talk lots about that. So when I get when I go on and on, um, tell me. Uh, I think the first piece is our graduation rate um, became the highest in the state of Wisconsin. And I talk about that really passionately because a high school diploma is a great return on investment. And, you know, kids that have a high school diploma versus those that don't have earning power that's just um, exponentially higher. So making sure that all kids graduate is a big commitment and it went up over six points in the time that we were using the criteria. Uh, in that time period the percent of kids that are going to a two or a four year college. So now compound that. Not only are they graduating from high school, but they're getting further education. I believe went from roughly 63% to over 93%. Um, that's that's amazing. And that's creating life chances for those kids that they didn't have before. And so that to me is probably the biggest indicator that I'm proud of from an academic standpoint, that we're sending more kids on to two or four year college um, is tremendous to me. Um, their ACT scores have gone up two points. Uh, so those things are all about the academic side. But uh, our applications for to work in our district went up by the thousands. Um, 
Um, and so that to me means that we're getting a better candidate pool and we can hire more passionate and dedicated educators to make a difference in the classroom. So that's huge to me. Um, we're using millions of sheets, less paper. Our energy efficiency has saved us hundreds of thousands of dollars. And our technology system has a 99.8% uptime. We never measured those things before we used the criteria. And yet now we do because again, that commitment to saving money in those support processes so that we can funnel more money in the classroom, that's huge. And so um, <laughs> that focus on results is, ma is making a difference for kids. And that's what it's all about. If you had a piece of advice for a school or district getting started with Baldridge, what would it be? Do it. Um, use the criteria. Uh, that would be my first advice. You know, I'd talk to some organizations and they'd say, well, we'd like to do one, but we just really aren't ready. Do a fast application. Work with your state. Uh, the Wisconsin Center for Performance Excellence in Wisconsin, now you can do a five-page app. You don't have to do a 50-page application. Get your feet wet. Um, doing that organizational profile, you get to know yourself better. You get to know yourself as an organization. So my, my, my belief is get do it. Start on that journey. Don't wait for things to be perfect because you know what? It'll never be perfect. So don't wait to start. Get that first feedback report and start clicking off some things you can improve. Um, that to me is the best advice. Utilize ASQ. I mean, the resources that we have in ASQ are tremendous as well. Uh, we did quality tools training with our teams and we brought teams of teachers and administrators in to learn to use quality tools and it makes me so you know, so proud when I see people using those tools in classrooms and in making decisions and in, and in debriefing and evaluating. Um, it expands your toolbox. And so that's to me what I would say is expand your toolbox and get started because that's how you improve. It gives you a system to improve. We all want to get better, but this gives us a framework and system thought process to get better. And that to me is what uh, we want to do is we want to be efficient in how we improve. And the Baldridge criteria helped us in Pewaukee be more efficient in how we improve. What are some next steps for the Pewaukee School District? <laughs> well, I guess I always want to say we've got a lot of work to do. Um, I think in given categories we can get better. Uh, so certainly we want to stay on that journey of using the criteria and getting better. Um, I also want to explore the team excellence model more in our schools so that we utilize those principles in all of our schools um, more robustly than we do now. Um, I think that we can do more work in the classroom using PDSA. So there's lots of work to be done. I mean, I don't think you ever, this is recognition of a journey, not a culmination of a journey. And so there's lots of work to be done. I view that there's an opportunity now being a recipient of the Baldridge Award to do missionary work in schools, to help other educational institutions, particularly public K-12s to utilize the criteria and become passionate about system improvement. Um, I have to be honest, I'm really looking forward to that piece because I believe so much in the criteria that hopefully it gives me and our district the opportunity not to talk about it from a success standpoint. I don't want to ever feel like we're, wow, we've done these great things. Not from that way, but from the opportunity of being able to help other schools really understand the criteria more and understand what it can do for them is something that really excites me as a next step. So I guess in summary, we've got a lot of work to do in Pewaukee and I'm also looking forward to helping other schools on that journey of getting better to be more systematic in how they improve. That excites me.